Well, this month marks one year since the Me Too movement ignited a national conversation about sexual assault. Governor Mark Dayton has declared today, October 15th, Break the Silence Day, an opportunity for survivors of sexual violence to share their experience publicly. And here to explain why that is important are Sarah Super, founder of Break the Silent, and Asma Mohammed, a Break the Silence board member. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Super important. A lot of people don't even know that today is an official day, right? Mm -hmm. And you want people to know that why? Well, because, so I actually broke the silence two years ago on Break the Silence Day. And it was such a monumental moment for me because I was finally saying like, hey, this I'm a part of this entire community that has suffered from sexual violence. And then beyond that, we are working to start a social movement and showing people that there are so many of us that you can't ignore us anymore. Um, and that people are not being held accountable for their actions, that, that we need to see that happen. And Sarah, you started this long before the Me Too movement. And you want people to know today's not necessarily about healing, it's about changing the the culture right that's right and i think that telling our stories and saying that this happened to me is never easy but it is a little bit easier to do it together and mm -hmm. that's why i think we we create invitations and platforms for survivors to to speak their truth to break the silence in solidarity with each other there's a comfort in numbers that's right Absolutely. and asma for you it's important because you say women of color often are a thought that maybe you're not a part of all this but it's mm -hmm. just it's taboo in the culture to speak out yeah so i'm muslim and in the muslim community it's very taboo so when i broke my silence like people were not ready to talk about mm -hmm. it and i had to keep pushing it and saying hey we are it's happening in our community too we are not immune to this and then people were finally like yeah we are and so there are people who reached out to me after I broke my silence, Muslim women, who said, we need to talk. Yeah. And so we started sexual violence healing circles for Muslim women, too. And I think what this says is that every time a survivor tells their story, it inspires others to it tell does, theirs. Doesn't and it? it has this ripple effect. It keeps growing. Yeah. And so, uh, and as we talked about the, the safety and numbers, and so when you tell your story, it might inspire someone who knows you very well. What is it that you want women out there to know today? <laughs> A lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> so no, sure. Well, I mean, the first thing that we tell people is that they are brave and courageous yeah. for sharing their stories and that we are with them, yeah. right? That they're not alone and that like if we work together, we can find healing, you know, together as a culture, right? That we can heal from rape culture. I think too that it's uh, telling that our stories matter and that yep. our experiences and our human rights matters and that um, our stories are worth being heard and told. Well, having a day is a start to that cultural shift, right? Absolutely. Just knowing that people recognize it at that level must be really important. It so is. thank you ladies for everything that you do. I know thank it's you. hard work and we really appreciate it. And I know it's inspirational to so many. We do have more information about Break the Silence, uh, the movement, and it can be found at our website, care11.com.